Hello, I'm Tom from carpfeed.com. It's a beautiful, crisp morning here in Shropshire. We're here at RH Fisheries. Rob Hales and his team have kindly invited us down to witness what could be a very special netting. This is their largest stock pond behind me. There are 326 carp in there, 300 of which are what Rob calls Big Rig's babies. Now these fish have been grown on from Big Rig, that famous and controversial mirror that grew to over 70 pounds. The fish that have been left as a legacy are just three summers old, so just over three years old, but they could be pretty big already and the ceiling for these fish could be well over the current British record. So we're gonna drag a net across, we're gonna get in the water with the camera and see just how big these fish are already and talk to Rob about the potential for these carp. Okay, now, just here. Here coming. Yeah. One on the left, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah, behind him. Come on, you left, on the left. Rob, it looks like this has been a successful netting. What's your initial reaction? Yeah, I'm pretty gobsmacked. Um, beyond my expectations, to be honest. We've just roughly weighed one, 18 and a half pound, and they averaged six and a half to seven last year. So it's quite phenomenal on a fish farm environment. Harry's got a common there that's easy 18. Uh, and I would say that's a, a run of the mill one. Sparsely scaled like the mother with a few little round scales, like peas in a pod. We've only got half a dozen commons. We're probably going to keep those but I'm confident we're going to raise some of them over 20. Um, and as you know well, they're exactly three and a half years old, so we're very happy. Well, Big Rig is um, an Israeli strain fish um, supplied to us by Home Fen, um, Fenland Fisheries rather, the same fish they've got in Home Fen. Um, she came with two other fish. They're all particularly good fish. Uh, that one was just a, an exceptional fish. Um, grew to a huge size in the little avenue, as we call it, one of our growing on reservoirs. And um, we just thought she was so exceptional, we, we'd take a chance and try and spawn off her with a, um, a stunning uh, male, a young male out the avenue, which has since gone on to uh, surpass 50 pound uh, and another fish. So we put the three of them in there, isolated on their own. Um, it was all very successful, very natural spawning outside. And uh, we've been, we were blessed with thousands of baby carp. And how old are they now? And, and what were you expecting to see today? Um, they're three and a half years old exactly. Um, they are the cream of the crop. Um, we have got 500 others of them on the fish farm that were probably averaging 12, 13 pound. We haven't seen them, we don't know. But the cream are the ones you've just seen. They went in a purpose-built um, three and a half acre pool, which was dug about two years ago. Um, so they're in a perfect clay line pool, natural environment. It was purposely built purely to grow them on. Um, they're exactly three and a half years old now. Um, and they probably, I, I had high expectations, but they probably surpassed all my expectations. Um, as you could see, they were averaging 15, 16, 17 pound. Um, we weighed a common 21 and a bit. And I think we weighed the biggest mirror 22. Um, so yeah, I mean, just phenomenal. We've never seen anything like that before. Right, this is the biggest one out of 326 fish, three and a half year old, 22 pound, big rig baby. It's absolutely breathtaking. I'm not sure, I've never heard of a 22 pound fish, three and a half years old, and I wouldn't have thought it was possible until I netted these and we've just weighed them and videoed them. And this is the biggest one, four over 20. They were averaging 16 pound. So we'll let her go and uh, she can come out in two years when she'll be well over 30. Explain to people who aren't particularly familiar with fish weights and, and ages, just how extraordinary that is for, for a C3, a three summers old fish. Well, when we first started out, we doubled with all sorts of strains uh, until we started sport, um, spawning the fish ourselves. Um, and a C3 normally would be seven or eight pound and that'd be a pretty good one. Um, but obviously better strains have become available. Uh, we've we've crossbred with our exceptional freak fish from, from the super freaks, and we've now got this strainer fish uh, that are absolutely fantastic. And uh, in the past, I mean, we've been um, working on the fish farm now for about five years, I think, but I've been growing and spawning carp for over 30 years. But um, a 12 pound 
C3 would be pretty exceptional. You'd be thinking, wow, that's amazing. That's going to be a monster. So to see what we've seen today, half a year on, three and a half years old, fish averaging 16, and actually seeing and weighing. Well, you saw them with me for the first time. I'd not seen them uh, for over a year. Um, fish weighed at 20 plus is yeah, almost beyond belief. So quite exceptional. You've charted these fish's lives um, from the beginning. Tell us where they've been and what sort of food and environment they've, they've had. Um, well, they've been purely farmed fish. Um, she spawned on the fish farm and then she went out into the fishery called the Avenue Next Door. As you can see, it's um, today, it's 100 yards from the fish farm. Um, they've been, initially there were 800 in a half acre pool as fry, were, um, were netted over the top so there's no cormorant predation. Um, they were then graded into uh, three pools. So there were 300, 300 and 200, just a bit approximately. Uh, you know, and then in the third year, they were taken out and put into this purpose-built um, pool, much bigger environment. They're on automatic feeders. Uh, they're also hand-fed every day when you come down here and you think the conditions are particularly brilliant, uh, conducive to f fish feeding heavily, so we give them extra feed. Um, we use Coppins feed. And more recently, we've tried in the last 18 months, uh, pellets from Aloe Aqua. We found them to be very successful as well. Um, occasionally, we feed them maize to balance out the diet with a bit of carbs. And also occasionally, we, we feed them handmade uh, fish meal boilies as well. This is a real classic one. Absolute double of the mother. Pin scales by the tail. Incredibly thick shouldered. About 17, 17, maybe even 18 pound. That's an absolute classic one. I'm putting the money on that going 50 all day long. Rob, could you talk us through that linear? How rare is it to get scaling well, like that? Well, in 326, as you've seen, Tom, we've only really got half a dozen with any noticeable scaling. That's not the characteristics of the fish, uh, of the parent fish. But occasionally you get a couple like these. It, you know, that one's got an amazing big scale on this side if Harry turns it round. Um, very unusual, absolutely spectacular big um, sovereign scale on top of his back look and this one's almost linearish on both sides so you know you do get them but but very rare um, as are the commons as you've seen six and only 326 fish and only six commons but these are absolutely spectacular can you talk us through that body shape Rob yeah I mean what what well, what are you looking for and what what attributes do well, they have if you like you know the deep body fish you know, like the old Dinkaboolers used to be, he's a classic, he's, he's not a, a, a normal one at all. Um, but he's a bit of a character fish, he's as deep as he is long. Uh, I'm sure he'd become a big one. But if I was to edge my bets, the longer skeleton fish will normally become the real monsters. All right, so this is a fish that we've had our eyes on. It's stunning. We've got photos of this as a C1, as a C2. Obviously now there's a C3. And as you can tell, it's an absolute character and it's got a very, very bright future. We bought a um, big rig at £38, so they're already big fish. So you don't really know how old they are, how well they've been looked after, how well they've been cared for. So this is the first time they've been nurtured and loved from fry. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if these fish could go on to reach £80 in this country. Yeah, born, um, spawn naturally outdoors, so we don't um, spawn the fish in a hatchery. You know, um, it, it, they can lose a little bit of their immune system. We believe in spawning them naturally outside. So these fish were spawned naturally outside on our fish farm, uh, born in uh, Shropshire, three and a half years on. Then uh, some of them have surpassed 20 pound. So yeah, they've spent the whole life in this country and um, who knows how big they'll go. But I think, um, I think they'll definitely pass 70 pound, possibly even 80. We're investing heavily in the Acton Bernal complex. Uh, so we purchased the big lake there only a year ago. Uh, that's 17 acres. We've got big plans for that. Um, so it's possible that 150 of them ish will be kept and stocked into our own waters. Uh, and that would leave us um, about 175 fish to sell. Um, we did cancel all the orders previously taken because we wanted to grow them onto a bigger size to make it more financially viable to us because we've invested an awful lot of money um, on the fish farm. The pool that they're in now costs well in excess of 100,000 to create just to put them in. So obviously they owe us a lot of money. So we will sell approximately 175 of them uh, in November 2022, if they're big enough. 
Um, on what we've seen today, I think they're all going to be very high 20s into low 30s. And if they do achieve that, then we'll be selling them in November 22. What would you say to anglers who, who sort of might turn their nose up at, at what you're doing here? I think everybody to themselves. Um, you know, our business is a business uh, like any other industry. The carp anglers, our customers uh, demand bigger fish. Uh, they want more fish, they want bigger fish. So that's what we're providing. And um, everyone to their own. I mean, if you want to fish for spectacular old English fish that are scaly, um, that have been around 30, 40 years in a very low stock water, huge admiration for the guys who do that. You know, our customers, our syndicates are full. We have a big waiting list. We're considerably up on last year. RH Fishies is doing exceptionally well. And this is what they're asking us for. So we're just supplying the demand that customers um, request and big fish is the way forward. Um, the fact they're born and bred in, in, in uh, the UK now in Shropshire and grown on by us is wonderful. Um, we'll be able to see hopefully the fruits of our work in the next four or five, six years. But this is what the customer wants and it's a business like any other. Will there be more big rig babies beyond this initial 800? Yeah, you know, the next generation will come along. We graded these from thousands. We were very picky. And as you say, we've got 800. Um, we have stocked some into the avenue, as, as we discussed earlier, a small amount to Avenue M1 and Acton Burn or Top Lake. Um, so we'll monitor those. But the idea is that the strain will continue now. It's exclusive to us. It will continue for the future. When the fish in Fish Farm 4 are spawning age, some of the exceptional ones will be isolated, put back into a smaller fish farm pool, and spawn exactly as Big Rig did um, three and a half, four years ago. Um, and the next generation of Big Rig babies will be spawned so that we can continue selling that strain on the fish farm for years to come.